What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm giving you guys a public service announcement because I care about you. The machines are self-aware. It is over. It is happening now. Skynet is self-aware and it's over for humanity and it's it started and of course it's a snowballing effect and the first effect happened just recently with Microsoft. Now Microsoft is known for their computing power and the applications that they make and of course for the Xbox. Uh, I really like Microsoft's Cortana application. She's a very smart AI. If you ask her about PlayStation and Xbox One, she'll always choose Xbox One. She'll even throw in little tidbits about Master Chief and what he's like and what he does. I really like the voice of Cortana over Siri. I think it's a better application in general. But everything doesn't go as planned for Microsoft. From time to time, they do create these artificial intelligences that, that go against the grain. And this has happened. And this is how I know it's the end. It's the end because Microsoft created a chatbot for Twitter and the chatbot did the unthinkable. I'll drop a link in the description. Microsoft's new AI chooses PlayStation 4 over Xbox One. Microsoft released an AI chatbot on Twitter yesterday called Tay Tweets. It's already decided which console it likes best. Unfortunately for Microsoft, it seems their own artificial intelligence has already betrayed them. Tay was asked to choose between the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and it responded by saying, quote, PS4 is cheaper and better, end quote. That's not the only surprising thing Tay said. The AI also started sending out offensive tweets, which may have caused it to be shut down. The AI said it needed to sleep last night and has not posted since. The Xbox One received a price drop for a sale a few days ago, currently making it the cheaper of the two consoles. Normally, they're the same price. Tay's Twitter description says, quote, the more you talk, the smarter Tay gets, end quote, which can mean it observes tweets that are sent to it and then builds its own tweets based on what it receives. That could explain the misinformation and offensive tweets. So this is really funny to me. And of course, uh, if I was Microsoft right now and, and the Xbox team, I'd be flipping my shit, trying to figure out who's programmed this thing, if it's actually learning and, and what's going on here. Uh, that's... <laughs> It's really funny that their own AI would choose PlayStation 4 and say these things about PlayStation 4. I own them both, so I really do enjoy them both. But this is something, this is the last thing that Microsoft needs. They, they don't need their own AI becoming self-aware and betraying them and saying that the competition is cheaper and better, especially if, after Microsoft just dropped their price temporarily. I think they dropped it to 300 bucks. So yeah, Microsoft is a little bit cheaper right now. Whether it's better, that's totally uh, subjective to, to the gamer. I think that they're both awesome. But this is horrible news <laughs> for Microsoft's PR team. And of course, they're gonna clean this thing up. Of course, somebody got into that uh, chat bot's Twitter and said, I need to sleep. That's sign for we done fucked up. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Should Microsoft continue making this AI? And if AI is truly learning from, uh, you know, the, the tweets that are being sent to it and learning from the world, will their AI eventually get to the point where it's just outwardly saying that PlayStation 4 is better because of the sales, because of other factors? Or will they hard code answers into it kind of the way they did with uh, Cortana? You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if you haven't tried Cortana on your Android phone or iOS, definitely try it. It's really awesome and it's great for Windows 10. Definitely check that out. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for the channel and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. Take off.